Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Hope you're doing well. So, if you have followed me for a while, you know that I'm really into true crime and discussing the raw realities on earth. And this one was intriguing because the woman doesn't look like the type who would do such evil. And the faces of evil vary so much. And I think it's so important for Muslims to have not a sus necessarily suspicious mindset, but we shouldn't just be trusting by default. And what was interesting further about this woman is that she actually worked in Tennessee for a children's home society. So she deliberately put herself in a role where she was supposed to be helping children. But instead, she would steal babies, she would ride in her luxury car, and lure babies, and I mean, uh, lure children into her car and steal them, and then uh, sell them to wealthy people. Now, sounds like something out of a horror film. And often horror films are taken from reality. It is known, at least, that 500 kids died in her care due to her abuse and just terrible living conditions and probably heartache for missing their families and she had sold essentially 5,000 children. Now what's really even more sad is that people in poor communities often are working quite a lot and there's not as many people being vigilant. And one of the benefits of being a stay-at-home mom that I've always argued is that women can be more guardians in their communities. There are more owls in the trees, as they say. There's more watchers. And this is important. So it's awesome to have a balance of women who have to go to work and women who are at home. Because if you are known in your community, right, you, you are actively involved with the children... And let's say you're out on your porch and you see this car pull up and you see one of the neighbor kids going up to it. You know, you're like, hey, what are you doing? Like, you can get involved and actually save a child's life. But if everyone's kind of inside, never going out, or they're always gone, and then there's some drug addict parent passed out not doing their job, there isn't somebody there to help keep an eye on those within the community. And... The importance of a high trust community is glaring when we read stories like this. And it's also important to teach your children about not automatically trusting strangers, right? And oftentimes people put off important serious conversations with their children when in reality I think it toughens them up to know what kind of environment they live in. Human children are really struggling to be safe on Earth. You have leftists who are pushing the degenerate sexual ideologies, gender ideologies on them. But then, if you go and talk about not trusting people automatically, you're called helicopter parent, overly protective, suspicious, you name it. The insults come really right out of the woodwork. And when you have people doing drag queen story hours and this sexuality is being pumped into the kids and parents are letting their guard down around sexual topics around children, you can see how this is lowering the children's awareness of what is right and what is wrong. And when we try to warn children of danger, it helps protect them. And sexuality is dangerous around children because it's usually predators who are lurking at the gates uh, to be sexual around children. And women like Georgia they knew how to pick pretty kids that would fetch a high price. 
when she would see a kid, she saw it as a commodity. She didn't have this sort of protective motherly nature. Nor did she have any empathy for her fellow women. She did not believe in any sisterhood. She did not care about the mother and child bond. She worshipped the almighty dollar, as they say. And so sometimes women focus a lot about what men do, but I think it's very important to cover the crimes that women do and for us to acknowledge that not every woman cares about the safety of mothers, the safety of children, and that we have to pick up that slack. Mothers who care about their children are at odds when it comes to evil in this world. And it's very important in your duas to pray for the children who have been human trafficked. Pray for the children who are victims of kidnapping. Don't forget them. And we know, if you recall, if you look it up, I'm not sure if Google will bury the results. They're really political now. But there was a story not too long ago, they haven't erased it, where 2,000 kids have went missing at the border. And a while ago, I shared a video, a screenshot of a tweet which had the video, where a guy, a human trafficker, had a two-year-old, three-year-old, and he climbed up the wall and then dropped her on the other side of the border wall, and the Border Patrol's cameras caught it, and they were able to rescue her. But he dropped her from a high area onto the ground and left her. Like, she could literally just die. And these parents who are wanting money, don't love their kids, who are gullible, are allowing their children to be sold and taken to the United States through the highest bidder. And uh, Joe Biden had a policy where, you know, families couldn't be separated. So human smugglers took advantage of that, would claim to be the father, when in reality they're not. And I also shared a video where kids were being drugged to be quiet, to not alert Border Patrol, and some kids were overdosing on these random drugs and they would leave the bodies in the desert. And so the liberals' open border policy does have a dark side of human trafficking that liberals do refuse to accept. Because they see everyone as a refugee, and they, they worry about bigotry, which so do I. And I do worry about bigotry towards the Latino community and the undocumented, the illegals. But we cannot ignore how human trafficking is a very lucrative thing. I've heard some people mock this and say, like, you know, it's not that big of a deal, it's not very common. But I think it's just underreported, and there's lots of people who speculate as to why. But if we take an honest look at the world for children, we can see children are always being attacked by predators, uh, and they are being separated from their parents so often with daycares and schools. It's a rough existence for a child. It really is. And so, when you see a case like Georgia Tan, where there's thousands of victims, and how many of those mothers were never the same after their child was taken, and how law enforcement was behind the curb, we can begin to see the importance of tight-knit communities, of children being in an area that's safe, of being educated on stranger danger. So I think it would be great if you talk to your children about the importance of not just trusting strangers because they're a woman. If you recall, twice this year, there was attempted child abductions of boys in our area too close to home and that really shook me because it's like wow even in my own community and the school sent out an alert I screenshot part of it and shared it on the community tab for those who remember 
And so you may think that this stuff won't happen to you and there's no reason and whatnot. But in times of war, orphans are snatched up. In poor communities, kids are snatched up. In foster care, tons of kids are abused. No matter which way you look at it, there's always vultures looking to get to the children. So if you're a stay-at-home mom and you're protecting your children, instead of going for a career and trusting a random daycare that one of those daycare workers isn't an infiltrator, you know, you're doing a good deed. Because this woman, Georgia Tan, worked in a children's home society. How many daycare workers have been caught abusing and taking pictures of kids on the toilet and in their diapers? A lot, actually. And so, don't trust the daycares. You can sacrifice some money and be with your child and protect them from trauma. Our job as moms is to protect our children from trauma and to be always at their side. Because there are tons of vicious people in this world. And you will be faced with a dilemma of, well, I let my kid roam around free and nothing ever happened to a mom who said, I let my kid walk to school alone and now she's gone forever. You have to decide what gamble are you willing to take? What risk are you willing to take? And can you live with that decision? It's really important. So don't let people separate you from your kid when you have souls like Georgia Tan out there working diligently to make your kid a product on the black market. I think covering more and more the evil of certain women, I think we will begin to understand evil more. Because it isn't just the scary face. That's the crazy thing about Shaitan is that his legions, they have so many camouflages. And it's so important to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect our communities and for us to be involved in our communities and to be good members of our communities and not bring trouble to our neighbors. Let me know what you think. And if you'd like to join my blog and support the channel and help me fundraise to get a book holder and a wooden panel, you can do so at www.subscribestar.com slash Hope to see you there.